Hello SimHub users, this is the fourth video on a series of the Dash Studio component within SimHub. In this video we're going to talk about the Components Explorer and how we can use that to put things into layers and work with ordering and naming of components. Let's start with this element up here, this fuel gauge. It shows the amount of fuel remaining in the tank numerically and also the linear gauge behind it which you see in orange is how much fuel is is remaining and we also have a, a rectangle there and a, a label up here so everything that you see here is made up of three distinct elements my fuel gauge my fuel value and the fuel label Unfortunately, these three things are separate. So say I wanted to move this whole element to the right side of my dashboard and I click and drag. Well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to move the whole thing. So I'll try again. Well, that just moved the gauge and not everything else. This is an example where put, putting these three components into a layer makes a lot of sense. We can do that by clicking the little folder icon on the top right to create a new layer and I can rename this along with other elements in my list by double clicking on them here. So instead of this being called layer, I'm going to call this just fuel. That will work. And then I can drag each of these elements into that fuel folder. So now all three of these things are underneath this fuel layer or fuel folder. But the way it is right now, I can still click and drag and move these things separately. That's not what I want. If you hover over this chain icon, this toggles group mode on and off. If group mode is on, it will treat all the elements or all of the components inside of this layer as one. So now when I click and drag, the entire element moves. Otherwise, if we didn't have that, we'd have to make sure that all three elements were selected using the left control key. Then we could click and drag and move them all together. But I find it nice when I have created a little element like this made up of multiple components just to toggle that group mode. And that makes it a lot easier to move around the screen. Next, let's talk about ordering. I have a dial gauge here with the Lamborghini logo. So it's two elements or two components. I have my dial gauge and then something called my image. My image isn't a very descriptive name and so I'm going to double click on that and rename this. So that makes a little, little more sense. So I'm putting this in here because somebody had asked on the Discord about a image on a gauge and it looked good to him when he was creating the dashboard, but when he was running it and these RPMs went up to 5,000 and 6,000, let's see what happens. Let's click on our linear gauge and modify a parameter down here of value. This is what value the gauge is currently at. And I can move that up to five and it looks good and I can move it up to six. Ooh, that's not what we want, is it? We wanna see that Lamborghini logo on the underside of that red dial. So we want the Lamborghini logo to be behind the linear gauge. In a lot of other pieces of software like PowerPoint, you would right click on something and there'd be a pop-up menu that would say move to front or send to back, something like that. It doesn't work that way in Dash Studio. How you do it here is simply by dragging the order of the components. So if I drag this Lamborghini logo behind the dial gauge, there we go. It will draw the Lamborghini logo first and then the gauge on top of it. And that's what we would want to see. So that little red dial on the dial gauge is now covering the logo. So if, if all of your elements on your dashboard had their own XY space, you don't need to worry about this. But if some of them share the same XY space, you need to worry about this. Also, transparency matters. If you notice with our dial gauge selected, we'll talk more about these components like gauges, but you can see one of the properties here is the background color of this dial. Right now it is set to transparent. That's what this little white and gray checkerboard pattern means. 
It means it's transparent and it will show whatever is behind it. But if I were to set that to um, a, a color here, a purple color, you'll see that we have lost our Lamborghini logo. It's being completely covered by the dial because the dial is not, does not have a transparent background. And so if we reduce the transparency or even make it partially transparent, then we can see whatever's behind it. So that's all I have to say about the Components Explorer. In the next video, we're going to talk about testing our dashboards using telemetry recordings. Then after that, we'll get into all of these different components that we can add to our dashes.